what's up guys this is my second java tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you how can you connect the database that we have created with our java application that we will create so we have done with the database side so we will start implementing our java application so we will come to projects and then create our own java application so I'm going to name my Java application database. So now I have created the Java application. So the first thing you need to know that whenever we want to connect to a database, we have to specify three things. The first one is connection. The second one is statement. And the third one is result set. And I will explain each one. So I will identify connection connection my con object equal to null because connection is a class so whenever I want to use it I have to make an object of type connection so it can refer to this class as you can see here there is an error because I have to import this class so I will import it java.sql.connection you should know that you should import only the dot sql because there will be another types that will cause an error that we will see we have created connection so we will create statement and i am assigning it to null all of them i will assign them to null because i will change their values later so also I will import statement so now as you can see there is .sql.beans we will use just .sql and the last thing is result set actually here what connection do it makes an object to the class connection so my con object is an object to the class connection that allows me to connect to my database and then create a statement of my database so this object will allow me to connect to my database so I will import here result set a statement will allow me to execute queries on my database and get the result and store it in result set so result set will, will just represent the data so again connection will allow me to connect to the database and then a statement will allow me to execute queries so through a statement I can execute queries on my database and then result set will just represent the data that I have retrieved from the query that statement has done okay <coughs> so now I have done with the connection statement and result I have to specify them so I will start with try because I want to make my application catch any errors so I will try I will try and catch which type except with, with of exception I will catch the SQL exception because I am working with SQL databases so I will say SQL SQL exception E I will name my object of the, that class SQL exception because it's also a class so this is an object I will name it E and then I will just print the stack when any error happens this will execute it so it will print the stack of my exception what happens in the in the in this error it says here there is nothing to be thrown in the body because I haven't written anything so I will start implement my try so try so now I will start changing the the assigning values to my 
objects of the class connection statement and result set. So I will type my object, my con object, my connection object equal to. So I will type here driver, driver manager dot get connection. And now you can see there are three types. Type with just the URL and type with the URL and info and type with URL username and password. We'll be using this one because we have specified username and password in our database. So what this actually does, driver manager that get connection, it makes a reference of the my object, my con object to the database so I can connect to this database. Again, this will allow me to connect to the database so it makes a connection to my database with this specifications. So URL, username and password. So we can type URL, URL what actually means it's the location of my database. So my, my location of database would be just this name. As you can see here, JDBC, Derby, localhost 1527, my database, without this information, because this is, this is the username. So I will type JDBC, Derby, localhost 1527 and then my name of database my database and now what localhost is localhost indicates that the database is in my java application project so they are all in the same folder so if I change the location of the database, I have to change this local host to my location. So C drive, D drive, and anything, any place that you place the, your database in. So after that, I will put the username, the username that I have specified, which was Agiad, and then the password, which was one two three four five six. So now I have specified this one. So now if I run this, I, I want to see what will happen. It says Java that SQL that SQL exception because I printed the stack with type SQL exception. No suitable driver found for JDBC. Actually, actually what happens here? It can't identify this one because I have to add the library for the JDBC uh, databases. So I will go to libraries, expand it. As you can see, there is just JDK, the Java development kit that we use to write our codes. So I will click the right button here, add library, and I will search for Java DB driver. Java database driver that we are using that I, I said in the first tutorial that Java DB is a driver that we are using to create our databases so I will add library and I will try for, so now you can see it that it appeared here so now I will try to execute my application it says build successful because there is nothing happened so I will continue with my statement my Equal my state object equal to my con object dot create statement because like I said connection allows me to connect to database and also create statements so I will create a statement to my state object and one note JDBC works like like a bridge to my database I said it is the, br the protocol, so it connects to my database, so it works like a bridge. So my database and my application, between them there is JDBC that connect these two things. So the database and the Java application will connect through JDBC 
the protocol and the sub protocol derby so I'll continue my state object equal to my con object that creates statement so I used my connection object to create my statement after that I will use my state object to execute queries and then assigning them to my result set so my result equal to my state dot execute query you can specify the query here by typing it as you want or you can specify it here query equal to anything of course it should be a string and also instead of this you can also specify string url and also string user and also string pass and then assigning them here but we have created it so no need for this I will write the query here select all from my which my which my agate my agate view dot my table one so whatever in the table one my table one will be showed on my Java application so I will just write here query so if I execute this it will be successful because nothing happens now I have my query and I have my results so I want to show them on the screen first thing I will write while my result object dot next what this actually does when I get my query my all information my pointer will point before the my information so if let, let for example if I have this if I have this information like name I get and there is ID and uh, date of birth and anything that this is the data that I get but if I want to show the data the cursor will be like th like here so what that ne next does it will allow my cursor to go down so it will start from here and just reading like that so that next will allow my cursor to go down and read the data so when it comes to an empty space like this it will stop working with the while loop and will uh, close it and get out of the while loop so I'll continue we have four columns the first column is ID the second column is name the third column is date of birth and the fourth column is uh, phone number so we will specify four variables the first one is ID second one is name third one is date of birth and the fourth one is phone number so int because the column is of type int int id equal to my result object so i will use my result object to get the id dot get int and the name of the column so whenever the cursor get to this line it will get my id for me or the id So the second one is uh, name. So it's, it's string. It was var char. I, I, as I told you, there is nothing called the string in the database. We so we used var char. So here we will use the string. String name equal to my result object dot get a string and name. So what this does get int and get string. It should match the type of my uh, column so it can get the data if it doesn't match it will throw an error it says the, there is a mismatch in the uh, SQL uh, result set so I use my result object to get this column 
uh, to get this column uh, information and also this one and also this one so I will assign name to this one and I will assign ID to this one so when I print ID uh, or I print name it will show the information in the table so then date because the date of birth is of type date and then I will name it date equal to my dot object dot get date and the column name is date of birth also here I have to import the date class so I will import it SQL that date and format and then the last thing is phone number which was bar chart you have to write the exact the exact name or it will show an error there are two methods either you write the name like that or you write the number of the column so this is column 1 this is column 2 this is column 3 and this is column 4 it's up to you but it's better to write the column name because if you change the arrangement of the columns you will you will have an error because it will not match but if you write the column name you will know what, which column that you are calling and then I will print the information so id plus name plus date plus phone and I will leave space display And I will show my data. As you can see here, there is the first, the first ID, and then I get the uh, the name, the birth date, and the phone number. There is a format thing. I'm not worried about. So now we have finished with the getting the data. In the next tutorial, I will be showing you another method of getting the data, and I will showing you another way of getting information about the data in the database so thank you